What's going on, fight fans? We're here with Nat Gabriel. Yeah, man, here at Main Street Boxing Gym. Listen, man, we already had like a little small setback. You know, had a little bit of surgery. Tell us what happened. Well, um, you know, it's part of part of the sport. I I was running, pre preparing for my fight with Huey Fury, and uh, I turned my knee, so it was hurting really bad. So I went to the doctor, and they say and they say I, I turned my meniscus, so. I had to get my meniscus done, you know, my knee done. So, you know, it's a small injury. It's not like that big, but still, it, it was hurting like a month, you know, so. Yeah. So when can you go back to like full force training, sparring and everything? Well, they, they, the doctors say uh, between five to six weeks, I'll be 100%. So I already in my second week and I'm feeling good. I'm, you know, I'm, I'm going to start moving around. I'm going crazy home. Doing nothing, you know. <laughs> Alright, so man, when you have an injury like that, man, what kind of thing runs through your mind as a boxer? You box this thing like where do I go from here or what can I do? How do you how do you keep yourself from staying bored and just sit at home? Wow, you know, uh, I guess driving around, being home, be playing with the kids, you know, something uh, cause then I will go crazy, you know. Yeah. I'm so used to be active, I'm so used to be running, training, going here, go there, you know. And be at home 24-7 is, is crazy, you know? Right. Now tell everybody about your last fight what happened. Well, my last fight was, um, was a pretty good fight. You know, um, they, they, they trying to send me off. They give me three weeks training. They told the guy going to come and beat me, you know? So, you know, the guy take a good surprise, and they take a good surprise that night, you know? Right. And I come out in the third round, and the, and the 10th round, so, you know, I'm, I just went, I moved back in ranking, and that was pretty good. Now, what did that win do for your career? You know, you think people started to take notice, like, hey, you know, we brought this guy in to, to get stopped, and he ended up stopping our guy. What did that do for you? Well, what I do for my career, for my for the people around, is that they they know I'm not a joke. They know I'm not gonna go just to a pay, I get a paycheck, you know what I'm saying? This is my life, this is my boxing. I've been boxing since I'm like 13 years old. So uh, if the only one the, the only one that beat me is my own self, you know what I'm saying? If I don't train, if I don't do nothing, so how will I expect me to win? When I actually put the effort to do what I have to do, I I know uh, I have a, a lot of talent, I just have to prove it, you know? Right, right. So we keep it here, man, you want to get in that ring with Huey Fury. If you get in there with Huey, Tell us what the results are going to be. Well, Nagi win by knockout. But we have to knock him out. It's his hometown, so, you know. Do you think he wants to fight you? Of course, he's a fighter. You know, he's a... We, everybody that is in boxing is not a play. They don't, they don't come here for play. We know this is not a play. This is fighting. This is, this is real, you know. This is not no bullshit. This is not like, oh, hold on. Let me tap out. Come on, my teammate. You know, no, no, this is not. We go there for fight, you know. Or well, Nagy, let me ask you this. I, I I'm starting to hear this a lot now. You know, we got the Lucas Brown incident. Tyson Fury himself said uh, when he fought Klitschko, they brought their own food, their own water. A lot of people are saying they don't want to take chances overseas because they're afraid somebody might spike their water or food, and they come up hot on the on the drug test. Do you feel that way when you go overseas? Do you want to take your own food and water and drink? Do you tap? Do you trust what's being given to you at the local restaurant and stuff? Well, you know what? Uh, like when I, I, the first time I fought in, in, in Europe was in Poland. I'll be there maybe two more times before or three more times before that. And uh, I love the Polish people, man. I love their, I, lo I love them, and uh, they're pretty good boxing fan, you know. And uh, I have, have a few friends down there, so I think I trust I trust Poland, you know what I'm saying, and, and the Polish people. I, it's not a reason why I have to bring my water or bring my stuff. You know, and, and people have to go to that stream to to actually win a fight. They should not be fighting, you know. They should be retiring, being at home, doing their thing, you know what I'm saying? Right. Yeah. All right, last thing. What do you want to say to all the heavyweights out there? What do you want to say to the heavyweight division? Well, uh, six weeks. I'll be back, and uh, hopefully I can have a fight the best. You know, I want to fight the best. I'm not scared. And this body, you know, this is a, it's a big heart. Yeah. It's not, no mercy. <laughs> <laughs> there you have it. Nagy Aguilera. Thanks for your time, oh, yeah. Nagy. 
make sure you subscribe or else.